hello uh, welcome to netis tutorials and uh, today we will configure netis wf2419 device in repeater mode this is network diagram and uh, this is access point or router we are using and but problem is that these two laptops are unable to get the internet access through wi-fi okay so we will use 2419 as a repeater so that this device can repeat these wireless signals to this this network okay so that these two laptops can connect with this internet okay so to connect this repeater to this access point we need some specific parameters okay the parameters are one is SSID wireless name of this access point your existing access point wireless name security mode and encryption method and third one is wireless password what is the SSID of this access point to or router what is the security mode we are using in this and what the wireless password these three parameters we need to know okay so for these settings we will just connect one laptop through cable we can connect to this access point or through Wi-Fi we can connect through this access point okay to get these three settings so we will just open now web browser and I will connect my existing access point through my laptop and uh, my access point IP okay Yeah, this is my SSID Netis. I will note down my SSID. SSID of my previous access point or router. Okay. SSID is Netis. And uh, second was the security. This is VAP1. Uh, Yeah, VAP1 encryption is WPA2. WPA2 and uh, encryption was AES. And this is a pre shared key. Okay, so pre shared key means this is your wireless password. So my wireless password is Apple123. Okay. Okay, now we have all these three parameters so now we will just connect one laptop to this 2419 LAN port okay and we will connect the power this power port and an Ethernet cable we will connect to this LAN port okay and we will open the configuration page I will connect I connected my 2419 LAN port and uh, okay yeah first of all we will connect we will configure this uh, repeater so that laptops or wireless devices can access this repeater okay so we will just give a name to this access point 
Foam. Repeater. And radio meter. Radio band. Repeater. We will change the radio band. Okay, radio mode. Okay. Repeater. Save. Okay, these two laptops, these two laptops can connect through this name, home repeater, okay. And uh, we will, we will just configure the security key home re for the home repeater SSID. Just click on wireless security and radio mode ap authentication method okay and by default password is password okay but we will change it one two three four five six seven eight save okay setting are changed successfully so these these laptops can connect with this wf2419 the SSID home repeater and security is 1234456678. Okay, now, now we will connect this repeater to this access point wirelessly. Okay, so for that, again, we will go in wireless settings, repeater, repeater. Okay that will be same now we will connect to the first access point AP scan we will connect yeah this one it will show SSID was the net is okay this one click connect there is net is now save okay setting our change successfully now we will configure the security again we will just click on wireless security now we will change the mode for this because we are connecting this repeater to access point in the repeater mode okay so now we are giving the security key in repeater authentication type was WPA2 AES WPA2 this one and encryption was AES okay and password password was Apple 123 okay yeah saved that's it so now you can get the access you can check here this is home router okay Now we have configured. Now we will access the internet. I will connect on the home repeater. And security key 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is we have given. connected home repeater connected yeah coming now so now these laptops also can access the internet through this repeater okay yeah thanks for watching